The Raw Loaf will continue using your tweets to review slash recap WWE slash World Wrestling Shows. Thank you for your patience. As long as I don't have cable or the WWE Network, every episode of The Raw Loaf will be using your tweets. And if it is going to be one of those episodes, you'll see the disclaimer like you did at the beginning of this video. Tonight's NXT begins with a recap of last week's NXT title match between Zayn and Neville. The big show off. The WWE is opening a show with a video package? So I took a picture of Bailey over two years ago and I did not even realize it was Bailey until two weeks ago. <laughs> so you never know who's gonna make it big, I guess. <laughs> Calm your balls, people. She actually did pretty awesome. I didn't mean to say that she was bad in any way. Hope everyone tunes into NXT tonight as I take on backstabbing Becky. Unfortunately, as I was scrolling down the tweets as they were coming, that tweet came well after everybody was excited for Bailey. Well, that tells me one of two things. One, Bailey doesn't do her own tweets, somebody else does them for her. Or two, the wrestlers have the same leg that the WWE Network has. Time for my favorite hour of wrestling every week. NXT and Crumpet. Is it bad that the flagship program isn't the number one show that most fans are looking forward to each week? Yes! Retweet for Becky Lynch with the boss Sasha Banks, favorite for Bailey. Or you could reply with hashtag upgrade your 56k modem. That was like a Raw Divas match. You can't win them all. You just can't win them all. You can't win them all. You try to win them all, but you can't win them all. And whose fault is that? No, nobody. More heels cheating to win? No way! If we didn't have heels that cheated, history wouldn't be entertaining at all. If Hitler didn't use teenagers in his blitzkrieg, who would even care about Hitler? If the colonists didn't give alcohol to the Native Americans, there would be no America. Pretty good win over Bailey. I would love to see you on the main roster and maybe WWE Divas Champion. If you're trying to suck up to a pro wrestler, don't say maybe they will be champion. I fixed the WWE Network stream just in time for the VOD villains on NXT. P.S. I still don't like their new music. Oh please, the last time the network had lag was the last time the network was the network. Oh. We're having a tag team match with the midgets? Well, at least I can't say I've never seen a double team airplane spin. Now you can say you have. It's academic, folks. The vaude villains have defeated the Lucha Dragons. Short and sweet. You know there are moments that deserve a big z zing. The old bringing out a much smaller version of a person and destroying them. <laughs> a staple in WWE story. You'll hear more attempts at that at the end of the show. And I can't ever recall one, but was there ever a time when somebody brought out somebody huge as an imitation and just crushed him? A Kevin Steen, well, they won't call him that promo. It must have been, well, I couldn't say amazing. So Baron Corbin won his match in 22 seconds. Bull Dempsey won his in a couple minutes. And boy, howdy did everybody. Everybody on Twitter just wanted to know who's tougher, who would win, make them fight. Love the vocal counting for Baron Corbin. Oh, oh man, this has been one of those times when I see a tweet and I'm like, oh, it hurts. It hurts to not be able to comfortably afford the entertainment that you love. College sucks. Progress with your life. Don't waste your time with college. This NXT crowd disappoints me with their total divas chant. Ah! <laughs> I'm really missing Jason Albert on commentary. Well, I think it's only natural to see the next evolution of Albert's character to become a weeaboo. Kid versus Balor next week. Hey, that's a match next week. Sometimes you just gotta tell people. You got. You just gotta tell them what's coming up. I'm. <laughs> I love Enzo and Cass's entrance so much. The crowd involvement really makes it innovative and different from everybody else's. Hey. Next week should be good. When it comes to WWE programming, that tweet should be circled in the middle. CJ Parker is so lame. This cat needs an image change or something. Switch the C and the J, and you got the initials for something that could be very interesting. This show needs more regal. Every show needs more regal. Yes, every show needs more of this. He's a man. I 
I'm not even joking. Dude, you gave Tyson Kidd like 50 million chances. Sammy deserves at least one more. Let's count how many chances Tyson Kidd has been given. Five, zero, 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 zero. That's probably more seconds than I will live in my entire life. Sammy Zayn is such a beautiful man. Oh, what makes beautiful his chest hair? Not on this episode. There's been plenty of other episodes where I've done it, so go watch them all. <laughs> Maybe if I create a catchphrase, I can host Raw. How about zip it down and watch the balls? Or as Luke Gallows would say it, zip it down and put them in the balls! Put them in the balls! And it's set. Zayn versus Neville, career versus title. I don't think anyone actually believes Zayn is gonna retire, but whatever. Hey, don't you say anything about pro wrestlers retiring. Retire is just another word for BRB. I want Tyler Breeze to be champion. If you don't believe that I want Tyler Breeze to be champion, go ahead and just watch the introduction for the first NXT recap review I did. Click. Seems like it's a Canadian wrestler thing to ask for one more match. One more match. I enjoyed that Christian and Orton rivalry. Hey, if you made it this far, that means you sat through the whole episode, and I gotta commend you for that. I don't know how these little tweet reviews are going. I haven't been hearing really any great feedback. I've been hearing, oh, thanks for using my tweet, but it just doesn't feel it for me. But I am going to continue to do it because I need to do something. Sitting around doing nothing because I have nothing doesn't really make any sense to me. I don't like taking lemons and making lemonade. I like taking water and making ammonia lemonade. That wasn't that good. Anyways, you can go ahead and follow me on Twitter at BelowFX. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, The Raw Loaf. Use it as a hashtag. It'll make my life so much easier in choosing which tweets to use. These smaller shows are just gonna be for fun. I don't feel like heavily promoting them because I already feel like I promote a few things a little bit too much. So, maybe we'll see you tomorrow on SmackDown. The old br The old br The old br the old bring it on a much smaller version of a person and destroying them. <laughs> a staple in WWE storytelling. The old bring it on a much smaller version of a person and destroying them. <laughs> um, uh, story. <laughs>